Washington has announced its list of Russian nationals and companies who will be hit by the new round of sanctions over the Ukrainian standoff. And let's now go live to Archie's Marina Bordnaya for details. Hello there, Marina. So what more do we know about this latest move? Well, as you uh, already mentioned, these uh, new sanctions target uh, seven Russian government officials uh, and 17 companies. Many of the diplomats and officials uh, that are being named have close relationships with President Vladimir P Putin, including Igor Sechin. He's the president and chairman of the management board of Rosneft. Uh, Alexei Puskov is the chairman of the State Duma Committee on International Affairs, and another person being sanctioned is Dmitry Kozak. He's the deputy prime minister of the Russian Federation. Now, as a result of these sanctions, any assets uh, of the individuals and businesses uh, that are being named, if, if they have assets within the U.S. jurisdiction, those assets must be frozen. Uh, additionally, transactions by U.S. persons or within the United States involving the individuals and businesses uh, designated uh, are generally prohibited. Now, the new sanctions announced uh, today are intended to build on earlier U.S. and European visa bans and asset freezes imposed on Russian officials. This happened after Crimea held a referendum leading to the reunification with Russia. Now, the White House says these additional penalties are being imposed today because Washington insists that Russia has not lived up to the April 17th Geneva agreement in which Moscow said it would use its leverage in eastern Ukraine to help de-escalate the crisis. Despite what U.S. officials are saying, we did hear from uh, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov over the weekend. He did call on uh, on ev all parties involved in the crisis to 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 uh, put down their arms, to leave any buildings that they're occupying, uh, and to de take part in de-escalating de uh, the uh, the crisis. Now, in response to these latest rounds of sanctions. Moscow says it will find a proper response. Oh, she's Marina Bortnaya, live from New York. Marina, thank you very much indeed for that. Let's leave it there. And in contrast to America's sweeping sanctions against Russian companies, Europe is reportedly opting for a less brazen approach. 15 Russian individuals face asset freezes and visa bans, though their names have yet to be released. And in all that, the EU's approach has been a point of contention even inside the bloc. Let's now take a look at the exactly where the key players stand. So according to a Spanish newspaper quoting a high-ranking EU diplomat, Poland and the Baltic states are the most hardline on sanctions. Eastern European countries like Hungary, Bulgaria and Romania are also among those ready to support tougher penalties, but only if the EU helps them cope with the repercussions. The UK and Sweden are advocating harsh sanctions, but according to the paper, London's just copying Washington's position. Countries that used to take a more moderate approach, the likes of France, Belgium and the Netherlands, are now reportedly toughening up. And there's speculation that could be because Washington's leaning on them. And finally, there are those who think tougher sanctions will be counterproductive. Germany leads this camp, and Berlin's position is also reportedly shared by Rome and Madrid.